Welcome to the Cosmic Busker. My name is Bobby Cody. In this video, I want to take a look at an article that was written in the uh, UK Express. It's regarding some scientists um, announcing their findings that uh, they have found evidence of life on Mars in the form of fungi. And I believe I read through the article real quick. I think it said stromatolites. I haven't looked up what stromatolites are exactly. I think they are a form of fungi. I may be wrong about that. Um, we'll go over the article in a moment. Um, just want to uh, touch base on a couple aspects of this that I'll lead up to. I'll end up this uh, this video with. Uh, I already found fungi on Mars few years ago, very clear picture um, when I was going over the curiosity photos as they were downloaded on a daily basis, I would go through them, found it right away, it's very obvious, it's a mushroom. I'll show you that picture. But as well, I'd like to touch base on one thing. Uh, in 1976, we sent a Viking orbiter and a Viking lander to Mars. Um, that Viking lander was designed to detect, look for life. It had five different experiments uh, that it had on the Viking lander. Uh, it ran the five different experiments. Each experiment looked for a different uh, signature of life. Four out of five of those signatures of life came up as positive for life. Only one of them failed. NASA then said, no life. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So four out of five of the tests came back as positive. One came back negative for life, and they said there's no life. It, it goes you to show the type of logic um, and suppression of evidence that has existed throughout our space exploration. Uh, I have a, a video that touches base on this. It's called. Uh, um, ancient Civilization on Mars, A Timeline of Discovery. I'll throw up a link to part one of that. I haven't done further parts yet. I uh, haven't had the time. I will try to follow up with more parts very soon to that one because it's very important. But that part one actually touches base on why they would be lying about this. So you take a look. Part one It's going to be one of those corners. I'll show, throw up a link there. Now, so they lied about four or five, they didn't say lie, uh, four out of five, they, well, they did lie, but four out of five of these tests came out positive. Only one failed as showing life on Mars. So they say, oh, no life. Later on, uh, the designer of this experiment, uh, he had these same tests done down in our Antarctica. Five tests for life in Antarctica because Antarctica is the most Mars-like environment that there is on Earth. So Antarctica is the most place most like Mars on Earth. So he repeated those same experiments down in Antarctica and sure enough four out of five of those tests came back positive, one came back negative. If I remember correctly, uh, one, the one that came back as negative it had to do with cosmic rays. I think that the, in Antarctica, the amount of cosmic rays that reach the surface are more than in other parts of the Earth. But it's similar to Mars. Mars doesn't have an ozone layer. So the cosmic rays hitting the surface of Mars would be similar to Antarctica. And once again, we know Antarctica has life. So almost certainly, without a doubt, Mars has life. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you something that I know for a fact. Uh, all planets have life. Even ones you would never suspect have life. But let's touch base on this article real quick. We'll go over the article, and then I'm going to just go over also at the end of this video my own little uh, Mars marsh mushroom picture that I found. Let's go to the article right now. 
Okay, this is a UK Express article. Headline reads, Life on Mars. Growing fungi spotted in Mars Curiosity rover photos. Shock claim. The article was written by Tom Fish and was published on Monday, March 25th, 2019. Alien life hunters have received a boost after huge fungi-like objects were spotted on Mars, the Journal of Astrobiology and Space Science has announced. What appears to be algae, lichens, and Martian mushrooms have all been photographed by the NASA rover's Opportunity and Curiosity. And photos of 15 mushroom-shaped specimens purport to show them growing larger and emerging from beneath the red sands of Mars. Dr. Regina Das of the Department of Microbiology, School of Life Sciences, India, the study's co-author, said, There are no geological or other abiogenic forces on Earth which can produce sedimentary structures by the hundreds, which have mushroom shapes, stems, stalks, and shed what looks like spores on the surrounding surface. In fact, 15 specimens were photographed by NASA growing out of the ground in just three days. And Dr. Vincenzo Rizzo, a National Research Council biogeologist, also points to the seasonal fluctuations in Martian methane as additional evidence of life. He said, as we detail in our article, 90% of terrestrial methane is biological in origin, and seasonal fluctuations in atmospheric methane are directly correlated with plant growth and death cycles. Cyclic fluctuations in Martian methane is reflective of active biology, which is also depicted in before and after pictures of specimens photographed by NASA. However, the evidence is so controversial, the Journal of Astrobiology and Space Science Reviews subjected the article to extensive peer review by six independent scientists and eight senior editors. And while three of these rejected the evidence, the remaining 11 recommended publication after certain revisions. So this is a peer-reviewed article. That's important. Um, Based on my past research and past knowledge of studying this for 40 years, uh, basically peer-reviewed publications just refused to look at the evidence. It wasn't even a matter of uh, past evidence of life on Mars not getting through the peer review saying, them saying, no, this isn't, you know, they just wouldn't even look at the evidence, period. So this is the first time, to my knowledge, they actually agreed to look at the evidence and certainly it, you know, uh, it passed muster and they agreed, uh, based on the peer review, that it should be published, which means it's good science. Uh, Certainly this isn't the first evidence of life on Mars that has been found. Uh, I've already mentioned the Viking lander. Part one of my ancient Mars civilization, a timeline of discovery. Uh, I present numerous structures that prove that not only was there life on Mars, but there was actually way, way back in the millions of years ago past a civilization, intelligent life that had civilization, the ability to build structures and technology. So, uh, you know, um, anybody who really wants to find the truth can. I recently had somebody say something, we were discussing something controversial, um, and he stated, well, you believe what you want to believe. And I looked at him and I said, it's the last thing I want to believe, but I am forced to believe it based on the facts. That's something people think, they, they can just believe, I mean, you can believe what you want to believe, but if you're going to have a reality-based belief system and not one that can do damage to yourself and others, then it is important that your beliefs be based on reality and facts. Um, 
but there's one other thing I'd like to take a look at. I'm going to have to cut away for a moment because uh, I want to get this to be a full, uh, full picture view of this. This is my own little finding of a, a mushroom on Mars. Nothing new. Anybody who's been researching this extensively over the past few years since Mars Curiosity rover landed has more than likely seen this. Uh, it may be new for some people who haven't seen this. Um, you know, I found it right away. Uh, I can state that I was one of the first few to see it because I downloaded this the day of the picture being taken and downloaded from Mars to Earth. So I was one of the first few to see this, so I can honestly say I'm one of the originating discoverers of it, at least uh, one of the Earth-based originating discoverers of it. Here's what I believe uh, is a very large mushroom on Mars growing in the soil. Let's take a look, and then I'll cut back and close out everything. So here's the NASA Curiosity rover Mars photo that I found. You can see the obvious mushroom shape. <clears throat> at bottom is the what would be the stem of the mushroom. And then at the top you see the bulbous shape of the head of the mushroom. It's just simply highly improbable but that this would be a geological formation because a geological formation would be hard pressed to balance in such a manner whereas life growing this is one of the indicators this type of shape okay to summarize uh, the news article um, speaks about the increase in methane uh, we've detected increased methane in the martian atmosphere methane is one of the byproducts of life cycles on Earth, and it will be found to be so on other planets as well. Um, you know, cows part methane uh, as uh, life passes away as well. Life death cycles, I believe, methane is released as well. Uh, so that's what the article talks about. It talks about the Martian fungi appearing to grow, give off spores. Uh, this is all signals of life. Uh, these are fungi, so there's almost no doubt about it. Uh, as I just like to reiterate, this is certainly not the first time. This is just the first time scientists have peer-reviewed and agreed that there is life elsewhere. Um, we've had Viking Lander, which four out of five of their tests proved life on Mars. We found structures on Mars, faces on Mars, pyramids on Mars. Um, you know, even there's something really important um, I just want to add before I go. <clears throat> there's something I believe they're called water bears. Uh, they're tiny little, um, little, almost mi not microscopic, but they're very, very tiny little creatures. Uh, what scientists found, they put these creatures out in orbit. Uh, and actually released them. I brought them up, I think it was in the space shuttle or in the um, in the space station. I think it was the space station. And they said, uh, let's see what happened when we put these water bears out into outer space. Put them out to outer space. They went into a kind of uh, suspended hibernation. Where they just, all their physical life forms shut down. Uh, they went into this... Uh, suspended animation or hibernation for a long period of time and once they were brought back into um, more uh, life-sustaining environmental conditions back in the um, space station the water bears came back to life they have the capacity to go into suspended animation for long periods of time and then once the environmental conditions are right, boom, they're alive again. This is how life spreads throughout the universe. Certainly water bears are probably not the only type of form of life like this, but um, uh, past scientists have speculated what's called panspermia, uh, that the universe essentially has these type of suspended animation 
life forms floating all over outer space and throughout the universe and they land on planets and they give birth to life. Uh, what we're going to ultimately find once our, um, our investigations of the solar system and outer space and the entire universe are um, more extensive, we're going to find, I have no doubt, that every single planet has some form of life, even if it's what we consider non-life-sustaining. Uh, environmental conditions, we'll find that there are some forms of life there that have adapted to those conditions, whether it's Jupiter and it's crushing uh, gravity, or whether it's Mercury or Venus and their unbearably hot environmental conditions. I'm certain we're going to find some type of life, whether it's bacteria or what have you, that is able to uh, sustain those um, environmental conditions and flourish. Uh, that's all for now. Um, you see why I'm called this the Cosmic Busker. Uh, any um, arguments, pro or con, I'd love to hear them. Other than that, everybody have a great day and thanks for watching.